Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, assign your track colors um, in this kind of uh, sort of rainbow effect, right? Um, and, uh, and you know, there's no particular musical advantage to this. Um, it's, it's not going to change any of that. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's definitely a visual aesthetic thing, right? Um, but I do want to throw in the kind of um, the, the kind of spanner in the works here, which is uh, if I called this piano, this track here, track one, um, you know, perhaps when it came to, you know, doing some mixing, I may start to associate this color with this track and, and that instrument. And so if I was listening back to a project and, uh, and I was like, oh, the piano is a little bit too loud. Um, I might be able to just uh, just take the levels down ever so slightly, uh, maybe ever so slightly more quickly than trying to search through all of the the different tracks, right? You know, I, I would automatically associate this color with this track um, and get there quicker. You know, and I'm, I'm sure over a, you know a, a large project, this <laughs> the time might add up, you know, to something more substantial. Uh, but I think really, you know, this is. It's a preference thing, you know. Many people get by just fine without doing this, um, so it's entirely up to you. Personally, uh, I, I prefer the colours. Uh, it does help me to stay a little bit more organised, um, and, and I feel like I get there a little bit quicker, even if I don't. Uh, so anyway, how do we get this to to uh, to appear? Uh, well, what you need to do is come up to Logic Pro, um, the menu up here in the top left. Go ahead and click that one. Scroll down to preferences and then over to display. Uh, go ahead, click display, and then come over to the subheading here where it says tracks, and then down to appearance here, uh, and then click on where it says color here. So uh, we've got three options in this drop down menu. Uh, static basically just means that uh, every new track that you create will have the logic default color. Um, which if you if you haven't set it is is usually a kind of green um, but if you have set it to something else it'll be whatever that color is auto progress 24 means that uh, logic will add in colors in a kind of gradient um, that goes from you know one color and, and gradually transitions through 24 different colors so that's what the 24 means and the progress just means that it's going to sort of gradiate through those uh, different colors so you'll get that kind of rainbow effect basically uh, auto progress 96 that just means there are 96 different shades or different colors uh, and that's what we've got here in the background uh, so let's we'll go ahead we'll click this uh, auto progress 24 and I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these tracks there we go and down here we're just going to add in 24 different tracks and click create and there we go that is it and you can see here on the left if I just make this a little bit bigger that we go through 24 different uh, different shades, different colors, uh, till we get to the end. Uh, now you might be wondering, well, what happens if I get to um, over, uh, you know, 24 colors? Uh, and all that happens is that it just cycles back through. So, you know, it would just go back to the color that number one is and then cycle all the way through again. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Um, you know, like I say, it's really is a preference thing. Um, if you haven't tried it, give it a go. Um, it's definitely worth doing. And if you're, you know, if you've started a project already, um, you know, this, it won't automatically assign colors to tracks that you've already, that already exist, right? It'll only apply this once you've selected this up in preferences. Um, so just bear that in mind. Uh, but what you can do is you can uh, two finger click or right click, come down to assign track color, and you can assign a color this way as well. So if you decide that you want uh, channel one to be uh, pink, all you have to do is is you know do that and s select the pink over here. There you go, guys. Um, so uh, yep, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and I'm always interested uh, to hear what you've got to say. So drop me a comment if you if you like. And um, uh, as always, thanks for watching.